Now that we created this table, let's start working on table style and formatting. So, if I click on this table, I will have two options, setup and style. We already worked on this setup option, we included our fields in dimension and metric, so now we are gonna click on this style button. When we click on this style option, we will have additional options, so let's see what we can do in this section. First, we have conditional formatting option. We will dedicate whole video for this conditional formatting, so we will skip this for this time. Let's start working with table header. Now, we have this show header option checked. If we click on this, you can also remove your header from your table, but in this case we will keep this option. Also, you have option to wrap the text. If we click on that, when I resize this column, let's see like that, you will still be able to see your column name. Let's see what happens if we remove that. We will just be able to see those three dots and that's it. But let's resize this and now we will leave it as it is. Also we could change font color, font size, font itself. We could choose for example this one. Also yes, that's perfect. Now let's start working with these colors. First we can change this background color. Let me choose another one. Let's for example use this color, ok, maybe I'm gonna use this one, perfect. Also we could change colors for cell border, if I click on that, for example we could use this orange one, I'm gonna replace that with, for example, let's also use this color. Ok, perfect. Now we have option to change color for odd row and for even row. So, for odd row, for example, let's use this one. And for even row, I'm gonna leave this blank, but let's try, for example, this one. So, yes, you can modify these colors and choose them on your own. But let's leave this one. Perfect. You can also modify font size, font itself, and font color in this section table labels, but I'm gonna leave it as it is. I can just demonstrate to you, for example, we could choose this one and as you can see we will have different font style. I'm gonna choose some other one. Let's use this for example. Ok, perfect. Now we have this table body section. Here, if we click on this row numbers, if we uncheck this, we will be able to remove these numbers. And actually I'm gonna do that. So we no longer have those row numbers. Basically we don't need it, so we're gonna remove it. Also you have option to wrap text just like we did for header, we can do also the same for rows, but I'm gonna keep this option unchecked. Also for this option, basically it's just horizontal scrolling. Regarding table footer, we can uncheck this option and you will see what will happen here. If I click on this, we will just see grand total and we will not be able to see that pagination anymore. Let's check it one more time, as you can see now we are also able to see it. I'm gonna remove this. Ok, now let's proceed to next section. It's missing data. So uh, what will happen if we have null values? We have some options. We can provide no data, zeros or some other option, blanks for example, but in this case we don't have any null values, so I will just skip this option. Also regarding dimensions, as I mentioned, we have the dimension column, it's this one here, and metric column. If you remember in this setup, let's see. In metric column we have profit, so this is metric column, and in dimension we have country, so basically this is uh, dimension column. So let's go back to style, and let's see what we can do now. We can, as you can see, have this dimension column in the center. Let's see what will happen. We will have it presented like this, if we click on the right side, we will have it on the right side, but I'm gonna leave it as it is. Also we can do the same for metrics, we can put it like this, and I'm gonna leave it on the right side. We can also check these compact numbers to see what will happen, and as you can see we will have just numbers presented in millions and so on. But I'm gonna remove this. Also we can choose decimal precision, I'm gonna leave zero here, and we will not be able to see any decimal places. Now we can modify our background and border. For background I'm gonna leave this color, but let me show you for border. I'm gonna change this radius, let's put for example 3, and for this line let's put 
for example, gray. And also, this will be thickness of that line, so I'm gonna put 2, for example, and let's see what will happen and how our table will look like. So, if I click like this, you can see that now we have border, we have these nice colors, and basically we completed formatting our table. If I click in view mode, we will also be able to see our table. For example, also you have option to click on this little button here, if you click on that, you will be able to sort this table ascending. If you click again, you will be able to see it descending. Let's go back to edit mode, and with this I'm gonna conclude this.